All right, let's start today by looking at uh, that seventh problem here. We want to find the equation of a line parallel to y equals 6x minus 22, and it passes through the point 11, negative 4. So what do we know about this? Remember the other examples that we were doing? We needed to find, we needed to have a slope and a point that we go through. And then after that, it was, you know, viewer's choice, whether you wanted to use the slope-intercept form or the point-slope formula. So what does it mean to be parallel to this guy? What do you know? It's going to have to have the same slope. So we know from this guy right here that his slope is what? His slope is not 6x, but it's just 6. It's the coefficient of x, which means that when I'm talking about a slope parallel to that, what's the parallel slope? Six. It's also going to be 6. So I'm going to use this guy. I'm going to use the slope of 6. I'm going to use this point that I go through, and that should be enough for me to get my equation. Do you all agree? Now, since the slope is an integer value, it should be easy enough for us to use the slope-intercept form. What's the slope-intercept form? Y equals mx plus b. Y equals mx plus b. So when I use this slope-intercept form, I'm using this because I know my slope. I know the x and y coordinates for a particular point on that line. I just need to know what is that b value? What is that y-intercept? So plug in everything we know, and what does it look like? Negative 4 equals 6 um, times 11 plus b. All right, negative 4 equals 6 times 11 plus b. So when we work this out, negative 6 equals, excuse me, negative 4 equals 66 plus b. Please make sure that you can tell the difference between your 6's and your b's. So when I get when, when I get b by itself, what do I have? Sixty-two. Now remember, guys. Negative. You're subtracting sixty-six on both sides, so it gives you a negative seventy. So I'm gonna take my b. I'm going to take my slope, put them together, and I get what for my equation? Here's a hint. Y equals 6x minus 70. Y equals 6x minus 70. Now look at these two equations. Can you see that these guys are parallel? They have the same slope. Their y-intercepts are different. Now, how do we know that this was going to be the y-intercept for that line parallel to this one? Well, we used the point that we were going through. We knew we went through that point, and so that means we come up with the y-intercept, or the y-coordinate for the y-intercept of being negative 70. What do you guys think about that? Now, let me change it up just a little bit for you. We still want to be parallel, but I want to show you an easier way, depending on the form that you start with. All right, so suppose I want you to be parallel to 5x plus 8y equals 3. And the point that we want to go through, the point that's on our new line, is negative 6, 9. Now here's something that might help you out. When you start with an equation that's in standard form, you should stay in standard form. Okay. Uh, here's what I mean by that. If I have something that's in standard form, ax plus by equals c, this guy will be parallel to this guy. ax plus by equals, I'm going to call this guy c prime. It's just a different c value. If you're in standard form, the ax plus by, we, we, sh we show the little shortcut, the little formula for that. Um, if you do negative a over b, that's your slope, right? So if I keep the ax plus by exactly the same, that will keep my slope 
exactly the same. Are you with me? But I need to have different y-intercept value, right? Well, if this c is different from this c prime, then these guys will be parallel. The trick for us is trying to figure out, well, what's this constant supposed to be? So here's, here's what I'm saying. I'm going to make this claim. I claim that if I'm going to be parallel to 5x plus 8y, then I'm going to start off as 5x plus 8y. I just have to figure out what's that number. Now I know what that number is not going to be. What can this not equal? Why can it not equal 3? If it was 3, it'd be the same line. These guys would not be parallel. So I have to figure out what number is it. Should I just kind of guess and hope I get it right? No? How do I figure it out? You plug in the points. I've got a point that I go through, right? Mm -hmm. Now I'm saying that this point right here is supposed to be a solution for my new equation, for my new line, right? That means I should be able to plug in these values for x and for y, and it's supposed to equal a certain number. So I plug in negative 6 and I plug in 9. What does that give me? Negative 30 plus 72 equals what? I know I did not hear a calculator being pressed. Oh my word. It's 42, so that's the number that should go here. So if I put 42 there, is that, is that going to be true? Is this going to work out? Would you guys agree that these two equations would be for parallel lines? They're going to have the same slope because it's 5x plus 8y and 5x plus 8y. And you know they're going to have different y-intercepts, right? Now why is it 42 and not, say, 4? Because if it was 4, it wouldn't pass to the point negative 6. If it was 4, if it was this guy right here, would these guys be parallel? They would. They'd be parallel, but would negative 6, 9 be a solution for this equation? No, because if I plug in negative 6 and positive 9, I got 42. So that's why I have 42 right here. So that's the quick and easy way to take care of that. Now, let me show you the difficult way, because I know that's what you guys want to see, right? Mm -hmm. Now, if you took this guy, suppose you forgot this neat little trick here. Can you find the slope from this guy? You would solve for y, right? And when you solve for y, you would have negative 5 eighths x plus 3 eighths. Okay. Now, you should be able to come up with this, and you may need to show more steps, but I'm not going to. I don't need to. I could take this guy right here and say, you know what? My slope here is negative 5 eighths. And that means that my slope that's parallel to that is also going to be negative 5 eighths. So I can take this slope and this point and use either the slope intercept form or the point slope formula. And I'm going to come back to this or some version of this. Okay. Now see, this is in standard form. I told you that's acceptable. You could also take this guy. And when you solve it for y, you would have this. y is equal to negative. 5 eighths x plus 21 fourths when you reduce that. Okay. So it doesn't really matter which answer you have because these guys are both correct. But you see that if you do this little shortcut, you're done very quickly. You don't have to mess with fractions. You didn't have to solve an equation for anything. You just had to plug these guys in, you got your answer.